Of course, this place is located just by the river, and you can't complete the tour without actually participating in a canoe. We're actually here in the Kimimachi Canoe Boat Club, in which you can actually participate in canoeing down probably one of the World UNESCO World Heritage Sites here in Akita Prefecture. You're about to see this in person right now. Come follow me. The canoe club allows you to traverse the clear waters of the World UNESCO Heritage Site that is one of its kind, the Kimimachi Canoe Club does. This humble canoe club handmakes its own canoes for the local cedar trees that line the mountain ranges and offers its experience for the Futatsumi Roadside Station, which is only a driving distance from JR Noshiro Station. A perfect way to start your journey through this part of the world. One of the great things about this experience is you didn't necessarily have to have a great number of Japanese skills, which is probably one of the biggest things that foreign tourists obviously are worried about when they come to Japan. They're worried about you know, not being able to speak Japanese. At least the staff here are able to at least pronounce the uh, instructions in English for you and at least understand the, the basic concept of the question. So please, if you come to this experience, don't feel afraid about the language barrier because the staff here are more than English capable for you. What's especially amazing, especially when you come to this place, canoeing in this actual river. Apparently this river is a, like two meters deep and in very very clear weather conditions you can actually see fishes that run through the um, run through the, the bottom of the lake itself. We're in the middle of kayaking as we speak. I can only say there are absolutely great views of the mountain ranges just by Akita. Yeah, by the by the great views man. Miho, not the don't that boy must go. Obviously, there's a rest point that's involved when you canoe for at least an hour. We're about to do a fun activity. Uh, point of a rest point. So let's go check it out. This is a Japanese game that's part of the Japanese culture known as the Suika. Suikawari. Suikawari. Same with Suikawari. Suikawari. I was thinking Suika Okawari. Um, Suikawari. It involves me being blindfolded by this and then me spinning around on this bat like this and then me trying to hit the bat whilst blindfolded. Let's go see how I go. No. <laughs> Don't die! Five times! Two! Oh my god! Ah! Miggy? Miggy? Hey, my, my, my! My, my, my! My, my, my! My, my! Stop! Stop! Left? Hey, me, I did, me, I did. Okay, okay. Hey, go! Oh! 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 After a brief first stop of eating the watermelons, we boarded our canoes again for another 20 minutes to complete a journey back to the roadside station. The experience was one of its kind, and viewing the mountain ranges, especially one this UNESCO world listed, was breathtaking in many moments. But don't take my word only, let's hear what Kath has to say. This is Marvin, see you next time on The Global Citizen. Psycho! Hello, Psycho! Yay! Yay!